Hello out there to you. In this problem, it's a little bit different, the wording and phrasing on it. We're going to calculate the CPI for this Coral Island place. I think that's a video game, but whatever. Um, okay, so the CPI basket means we're going to stick with the uh, old quantities. So we're telling the CPI basket contains the quantities bought in 2014. So that's our market basket. So we need to figure out what those quantities are. We've got the average household spending this much on juice and this much on cloth, and then here are the prices. So we need to work out what the what those quantities are. Then we can figure out what the current year market basket is. And then the CPI is current. Uh, we'll call that current basket divided by uh, the uh, base basket. We actually know the base basket because it tells us right here, $60 and $30. So that's $90. So we already know that this part of the current year CPI is going to be 90. Okay, so the uh, we just need to figure out what the current basket is. Okay, so the average household spent $60 on, in 2014. And the price of juice was was uh, two dollars. So we're gonna we're gonna this formula for this is the spending over the price. So for juice it was sixty dollars over two dollars uh, gives us thirty. So the quantity of juice is thirty. So thirty bottles of juice makes up that part of the the market basket. And then the cloth. We're spending 30 on the cloth, and the price was five, so six, six yards of cloth. Okay, so this is this is the CPI uh, quantities, and then we're going to use the new price. Okay, so the new price would be 30 bottles times four, so that would be 120 plus six yards of cloth times six dollars a yard would be 36. Add those together, we get 155. 156, rather. So that would be 156 over 90. This is going to give us the CPI of the current year. So 156, I'll show you what I'm doing here, divided by 90. Uh, oh, and then you have to multiply this by 100. Just kind of goes without saying because it's an index. So it'd be uh 173 yeah 173 it's hard to read there 173 is our cpi for the the current year and if i wanted to know the uh, inflation rate if 2014 is the base year um, there is a formula for this it's new cpi minus old cpi divided by old times 100 again, because it's a percent. So here we would go 173 minus 100 over 100 times 100. And, and this is pretty easy, because if you're going away from the base here, whatever the number is as a change to the base here is going to be what you get. So you get 73%. Okay, so 73% inflation, that would be really bad. I feel bad for the people of Coral Island.